Today I'm going to share my September favorites. So let's begin. This has been a favorite for years. This is a Real Techniques brush. It's the blush brush. It's like one of the original brushes they came out with. It's still available. It's very inexpensive. And I use it for bronzing and contour. It does look too big to be a contour brush. But when I go to contour, I just squeeze the profile down and do it like that. You'll see this brush in almost every one of my videos unless I pull out this one from Sigma, which is also very good, but for some reason I love this one. And this one, in case you want one specifically for contouring that's got the name Contour Brush on it, this one is Soft Angled Contour F23 from Sigma. And then this one is the blush brush from Real Techniques. An oldie but a goodie. This last month my favorite brow pencil was the Tom Ford Brow Perfecting Pencil in the color Espresso. I loved it so much that I went ahead and put it in my kit and used it up on my clients. So I had to come up with something new. Today I'm wearing the Artist Palette color from Anastasia Beverly Hills, Baby I'm a Star. And I will put by this in the description box a brow product that's very similar in color and also has a, a dab of sparkle to it. So that's been my favorite brow color this month since I used up my espresso pencil. And to apply it, I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush. It's a double-ended brow brush. It's got the spoolie on one end and it's got the brush on the other, and it's, I, the reason I like it is it's stiff. I'll, I like a brow brush that's stiff. For at least, I bet, 50 videos, I use the Ritual Baked Blush, let's see, yeah, it's a Baked Blush Bronzer. And late in the month, I, pulled out the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette and discovered that by, mix <laughs> by mixing these three, I get the perfect color bronzer and then I love this one for my contour. And I like this bright white on the tip of my nose. And that's what I have on the tip of my nose now. So my favorite bronzer this month is a drugstore bronzer. My favorite blush this month is the Patrick Ta Oh She's Different. It looks like this. It has a cream and a powder and I use them both. I use the same brush. First I put the cream on and then I set it with the blush, powder blush. I do not have it on today, but it's a good color. It goes with everything. I don't have, if I only wanted, matter of fact, I did. I carried this with me when I went out of town and I used this with every look that I did. So the Patrick Ta, oh, she's different is a very universal blush. I also carried it with me and did a couple of wedding parties with it. It's 
it's a good color. It works well on most. While I'm talking about cheap products, I'm enjoying the Jouer. I can't show you. Well, I can. It's crumbled. I love this. It's very, very shiny. I get a lot of bang. I have it on now. I wear it under my brow, on my high cheekbone. Sometimes I put it here, sometimes I put it here, on my cupid's bow, in the, by the tear duct. If you want to get a lot of bang from your highlight, Jouer Skinny Dip is a fabulous, fabulous highlight. And it works works on most. I also discovered this month when I was trying to switch it up for you and show different products, I discovered the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. It has the perfect amount of stick to give the whatever shadow you layer over it, make it in, it makes it, makes the color look saturated. It blends perfectly over the top. I guess it has just the right amount of slip in it that when it sets up the surface, it is optimal for blending. Love this. Can't wait till my eyes heal so that I can go back to using this again. My eyelids are irritated from overusing the my lash serum. Evidently, you're not supposed to get it on your lid. You're not supposed to. I didn't put it on my lids, but it got on my lids. I guess because my eyelashes got so long that they kept dotting my lids. So when I go back to using it, I'm going to... Put it on at night before I go to sleep so that my eyelashes will be down and they won't be dotting my lids. Anyway, great eyeshadow base. Highly recommend it and I'm looking forward to being able to use it again. This month I used the Wayne Goss 01 brush over and over again to apply my foundation. I enjoy the beveled edge and the fact that it's a small compact brush and I can control where the foundation is going. I can buff it in real good so I don't leave any streaks and I also because I do my brows before I do my foundation don't know why it's just the order I do it I can, because it has the beveled edge, I can get in close around my brows like that. I've enjoyed this brush for my foundation this month. It's the Wayne Goss 01. You've seen this over and over this month, this pair. It's the Tarte Opening Act Primer. And what's different about it? Well, it works. It's got, it's a drier formula. It's not wet and goopy. I put it on pretty generously and it, it covers up fine. I really like this. I went through a thing, I don't know why. I ran out of my Lancome Seals Booster and I tried some other things. I tried the Paradise Primer the voluminous primer i guess those are the only two in this one and this one really this one really works i have it on now and i think it really boosts your lashes and you you've seen this on replay over and over again it's the pat mcgrath dark star mascara love it it builds quickly if you want a natural looking lash, you will not like it. 
I like to look like I have on false lashes. So I love this mascara. Um, someone mentioned in the comments that if you keep layering it, it crumbles. I haven't had a problem with it crumbling. If I comb through it to add another layer when I'm really building, like if I'm on my maybe third layer, it may crumble a little bit. But that's only because I've combed through it. And, but I don't notice crumbling throughout the day. Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. I love it. And I love it layered over the Tarte Opening Act. What do they call it? Lash Primer? Yep, they call it Lash Primer. This was late in the month, but I really like it. I have it on now. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 High Vibes Pencil. It is a dark green, dark bronzy green with a sparkle in it. And I like it underneath my eyes. I love this pencil. I would not wear it on the waterline if you have contacts. If you don't have contacts, then your eyes will probably just wash the glitters to the corner of your eyes and you just have to keep cleaning out the corner of your eyes. But if you have contacts, you'll end up with a nice protein film on your contacts and you won't be able to see. But I love this pencil. I It was a it was an impulse purchase. It was right at the front door. And I, I grabbed it, and I'm glad I did. Love that pencil. Another thing that I bought this month, late in the month, is this Becca Hydra Light. And it's really bright, but it's not bright on. It's a balm. It smells like Bubblicious. The original, no, not Bubblicious, Hubba Bubba. It's uh, a lip balm. It's very sheer. Color I have is spray. It's very moisturizing. I can feel where I put it, even though I already had on gloss. I can feel it doing whatever it is it's doing. It must have hyaluronic acid in it. Becca Hydrolite in the color spray. It's a lip balm. I, I love this. And because it's so sheer, you can just throw it in your purse and reapply. This, has been, this was in my favorites last month. I bought a, two, two little ones. I bought one for my desk and one for my kit. And I should have bought a big one. I love this. I have it on today. It keeps my brows standing up all day long. And it also puts a protective coat over the brow powder I've used and makes it last. Benefit 24-hour brow setter. I have to have this all the time, and I like it better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is my favorite, and I would buy this like I do the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I have three new ones in a drawer over there of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I'm going to buy a bigger size of this for my backup because I don't, don't ever want to be out of this again. So this month I had a weekend at, at Kiowa with a wedding party. They were from 
Wisconsin, the first day they had the photographer there and they were doing family pictures and the second day they did the wedding. So my camera's battery died so while, so now it's charged. So I was telling you about my wedding party at Kiowa that had a photo shoot on Friday and then the wedding on Saturday and both of them were on the beach and I used the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Follow Setting Spray both days on the wedding party so that their makeup wouldn't melt off. It was still pretty warm and it was very humid and overcast and misty and their makeup held up both days. There were no complaints. Everybody's makeup stayed in place and stayed as fresh as it could possibly be expected under the conditions. But this is some this was my favorite setting spray this month, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. Get you some. So when Pat and I went on vacation, we went to CVS a couple of times <laughs> and we picked up some Palmer's cocoa butter moisturizer just because it was in a little travel size and I like little travel sizes and we both enjoyed the way it felt and the smell is so comforting I came home and bought a big size and I keep this on my it's not pretty but my furniture and my deck, my decor is not pretty, so it doesn't matter. This sits on my bedside table, and Pat enjoys using it on his hands at night because he has dishpan hands because he's the one that cleans the kitchen after supper. It's thick. It smells like chocolate. I know a lot of you don't... There's some, I heard someone recently say they didn't want their body to smell like chocolate. I do want my body to smell like chocolate. <laughs> since I can't, since I don't eat, I actually, I could eat chocolate. I could get uh, the cacao powder and put it in my coffee. I'd, unsweetened, I wouldn't, don't do sugar. But that is awesome. That's some good stuff. Anyway, these are my favorites from September. I hope you enjoyed. There's one other thing. Did I tell you this? I did not tell you this. There's one more thing. The Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. I love this for a, for a setting powder or anywhere that I want more coverage. I put it on this Hakuhodo brush. This is the travel size. I think it's, it's the B110. I put the bare minerals on it and buff it. And it gives a really flawless look. I don't use much. I use only the slightest amount. I don't put a lot of powder on here. This is one of those cases where less is more. And it gives me a flawless finish to whatever foundation I used. All right, now I'm really done. Those are my September favorites. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at uh, a review of the things that I used the most this past month. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow night. Ta-ta!